Have you ever seen something so realistic that it just seems unreal? Get ready, because we're about to dive into some AI tools that are absolute game changers. We're talking about stuff that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible. From mind-bending physics simulations to 3D models you can twist and turn like clay, and even AI that can bring old black and white photos and videos to vibrant, colorful life. This is the cutting edge of AI, and it's all happening right now. First up, let's talk about something truly mind-blowing, Genesis. Now this isn't your average physics simulator. This is a hyper-realistic playground where the laws of nature are brought to life in stunning detail. Imagine being able to simulate the way water flows, how soft materials squish and deform, or even the slow, gooey movement of viscous materials. Genesis does all of that, and it does it with such incredible accuracy that it's almost hard to believe. We're talking about simulating a single, tiny water droplet as it slides down a glass bottle, capturing every little nuance of its movement, the way it interacts with the glass, even down to the level of individual molecules. And get this, all you need is a simple text prompt to make these incredible simulations happen. For instance, if you want to simulate a water droplet sliding down a glass, just give it a text prompt and see the magic. But the realism is just the beginning. Genesis can simulate things at speeds exceeding 43 million frames per second. That's right, 43 million. That means you can create super slow motion videos of things like a strawberry gracefully crashing through water, or a bullet piercing through a blob of water, all in exquisite, breathtaking detail. We're talking about speeds that are hundreds of thousands of times faster than any other simulator out there. And it's not just a speed demon either. It's lightweight and super flexible. So you can run it on all sorts of systems. Windows, Linux, Mac OS, you name it. Plus, it's not limited to just NVIDIA GPUs. You can run it on CPU and even AMD GPUs. So this is a super flexible tool. So what's the point of having a simulator that's this realistic? Well, imagine being able to train robots in a virtual world that perfectly mirrors our own, right down to the physics. That's exactly what companies like NVIDIA are doing with things like Omniverse and Isaac Sim, and Genesis is definitely playing in the same league. You can basically set up these virtual gyms where robots can learn and adapt to all sorts of situations, making their deployment into the real world way smoother and more efficient. Since everything is virtual, it's a lot cheaper and a lot quicker to train these robots compared to training them in real life. And because these environments simulate real-world physics and theory, after training, these robots can be deployed in real world. But Genesis isn't just for robots, of course. Think about how this tech could revolutionize video game development, animation, filmmaking, or even virtual reality experiences. Imagine this. You type in a prompt like, a miniature Wukong holding a stick in his hand sprints across a table surface for three seconds, then jumps into the air and swings his right arm downward during the landing. The camera begins with a close-up of his face, then steadily follows the character while gradually zooming out. And boom, Genesis generates that entire dynamic scene for you from thin air. And here's the real kicker. Genesis is completely open source. That's right, you can download it, use it, and even tweak it to your heart's content right now. It's under the Apache 2 license, which means you can use it for pretty much anything, even commercial projects, with very few restrictions. I'll make sure to drop a link to the main page in the description below so you can check it out yourself. All right, let's move on to something equally cool, PartGen. This AI is a game changer for anyone who works with 3D models. Imagine being able to take a picture, an existing 3D model, or even just a text prompt, and create a brand new 3D model from it. But here's the twist. This model isn't just a single static object. It's made up of individual parts that you can edit separately. Let's say you type in a beagle in a detective's outfit. PartGen will generate a 3D model of exactly that, but you'll also be able to isolate the hat, the beagle itself, and the outfit as separate editable components. Here are some more examples. If you prompt for a gummy bear driving a convertible, it generates 3D model, which can be broken down into gummy bear, wheels of car, and body of car. Or if you prompt it with a chihuahua wearing a tutu, you can separate this into chihuahua and parts of tutu. Or if your input image is this panda king, it does generate this 3D model, but it also knows to separate this into these parts, the crown, the robe, and the panda. Or if you input an image like this, it generates this 3D object, but you can also break that down into the cushion and the frame of the chair plus the base of the chair. Or if you input an existing 3D object like this, you can also separate this into individual parts like this. This is great if you want to segment a particular thing in an object. Or if you input this toy truck, this is what it generates, but you can also break this down into the wheels and this arm and also other parts of the truck. Need to change the hat on your detective beagle? 
No problem, just select it and tweak away. Want to swap out the wheels on that gummy bear's convertible? Easy peasy. Part Gen gives you that fine grained control over every single element of your 3D model. You could also use a prompt to edit specific parts of an existing 3D model. Let's say this is your original 3D model. If you prompt it with magician hat, it will change the hat into a magician's hat. Or if you prompt it with brown hat with police badge, that is indeed the hat that you get. Or here is a red hat with blue texture. Here's another example. If this is your original input and you prompt it with pink cup with square bottom, this is what you get. Or if you prompt it with green cup with cute logo, this is what you get. Or here's a yellow cup with a smile on it. And finally, here is a pink cup. If this is your original 3D model, and you only want to edit this specific area, well, you can draw a frame around that and then prompt it with, with red hat, and it would change the hat to red. Or here's a cowboy hat, here's a black magic hat, and here's a white hat. So how does it work its magic? Well, first it takes your input, the picture text or 3D model, and it cleverly segments it into those individual parts. Then, it uses another algorithm to recreate each of those parts in 3D, making sure they all look realistic and fit together perfectly. Finally, it takes all those completed parts and assembles them into a single, cohesive 3D model of whatever you specified. Now, I'll be honest, the results right now aren't quite as polished as some of the other high-end 3D generators out there like Microsoft's Trellis, which I've covered in a previous video, but you have to see the potential here. Think about how useful this could be for things like video game development, animation, architecture, or product design. Pargen gives you a way to create, segment, and edit 3D objects incredibly quickly and with a level of flexibility that's just not really been possible before. I'm pretty early on this one and it's currently just a preprint so the code isn't publicly available yet, but I'll definitely link to the project page in the description so you can read up on it. <laughs> Want access to the absolute best AI models out there without the hassle of juggling multiple platforms? Let me introduce you to Chat LLM by Abacus AI, your all-in-one AI powerhouse. This incredible tool puts the latest and greatest models like O1, O1 Mini, GPT-40, and Claude Sonnet 3.5 right at your fingertips. Plus, it's got some seriously smart features. Root LLM automatically picks the best model for your prompt, and Search LLM scours the web for the most up-to-date info. Need your AI to sound less robotic? The Humanize feature lets you adjust the tone. And get this, you can generate stunning images using top-tier generators like Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, Ideogram, and Recraft, and even create videos with just a prompt using powerful video models like Kling, Luma, Runway, and Hiluo. Coders, you'll love the artifacts feature for seamless app building. Plus, creating documents and analyzing PDFs is a breeze. And for the ultimate customization, the AI engineer lets you build your own fine-tuned chatbots. It's all here. Ready to experience the future of AI in one platform? Sign up using the link below for your first month free. Get ready for this one. Its name is a mouthful. Volumetric videos with temporal Gaussian hierarchy. But what it does is pretty incredible. This AI can take what are called multi-view RGB videos. That's basically a set of videos of the same scene, but captured from multiple cameras at the same time. And it can turn those videos into a long volumetric video. Now, you might be wondering what on earth those terms even mean. Multi-view, like I said, just means multiple videos of the same scene shot from different angles. It's like having a bunch of cameras set up all around a scene, all recording at once. And a volumetric video is essentially a moving 3D scene that you can interact with. You can move around inside the video, look at things from different angles. It's like being inside the video. Imagine watching a hot juicy corn video, but you can drag your mouse around to view the action at different angles. That would be a total game changer or imagine watching a sports game or dance performance, but you can see the players or dancers at different angles. The problem is that creating these kinds of volumetric videos, especially if they're long, like several minutes long, can be incredibly difficult. It takes a ton of computing power to store and process all that data. But the researchers behind this project came up with a new way to handle all that information called temporal Gaussian hierarchy. It's a much more efficient way of organizing the 3D data and the motion in a video. And because of this new technique, you can now render a 3D video much faster. Plus, you can also render longer videos without getting an out-of-memory error. So as you can see on the left here is this new temporal Gaussian hierarchy technique, whereas on the right is an older technique which just fails to even render the video after a few hundred frames. It just gives you an out-of-memory error. And the results are seriously impressive. Not only is it faster, but the videos are smoother and higher quality too. I mean. Just look at the demos. This is easily the best and most consistent looking 3D video generation I've ever seen. And the potential applications are huge. Virtual reality, animation, video games, 
even things like watching sports or performances in a whole new way. The awesome thing is, this seems to be already available. So at the top of the page, here are a few GitHub links. And if you click into each of these, it contains instructions on how to install this and run it locally and on your computer. I'll drop the link to the main project page in the description so you can explore it further. In other news, this AI is also a game changer. It's called Color Flow by Tencent, and it can add colors to black and white images. This works really well for comics animation and even realistic photos. So here's how it works. First, you just need to feed it with a pool of reference images that are already colored. And then if you feed it a black and white image like this, it will know how to color the image based on your reference images. And this AI is able to recognize specific characters and maintain their original colors, such as hair skin or clothing colors. So as you can see here, if this is your black and white image, it recognized that this girl is this one, so it knows to color her hair green and her dress dark purple. Same with this one, it recognized that this character in this black and white image is the same character here, so it knows to color her like this and make her shirt purple. So this could be a super fast way to colorize comic pages consistently. And consistent is the key here. If you compare color flow to other colorization tools out there, you'll see that they often struggle to keep colors consistent from frame to frame or across different images of the same character, but color flow nails it. And like I said, it's not just for comics. It works great on animation images too. You just feed it a few colored reference images and then give it a black and white panel and it'll color it accurately based on the references. It even works on realistic photos. Seriously, you can give it a black and white photo along with a few colored reference images and it'll color the photo realistically based on the colors in your references. For instance, it would know to color this guy with a red helmet and a red shirt. Here's another example where this is the input image and then you feed it with several colored reference images. It would know to color these characters according. So indeed the hat and the robe of Gandalf is gray as noted in the reference images and the shirt of this hobbit is indeed like maroon color as seen in these images. So again, this could be a really powerful way to accurately and consistently colorize black and white films. There's an online demo you can try out on Hugging Face, and they've also released the code on GitHub. Links will be in the description, as always. Okay, last but definitely not least, we have something pretty crazy. A new open source AI model called DeepSeek version 3. And this thing is legit beating some of the best models out there, including Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40 in various benchmarks which is pretty insane to think about. I mean, think about it. We finally have an open source model that's caught up to the top closed source models. It's scoring higher than those models in benchmarks like MMLU, GPQA, and especially in coding and math. It's got 671 billion parameters, and it uses a mixture of experts architecture, which is basically like having a team of specialized AI agents working together to answer your prompts. So you might have one expert that's great at coding, another that's a whiz at writing, another that's awesome at research, and so on. And people are taking notice. Even Andre Karpathy, who used to be an engineer at Tesla and OpenAI, is saying that DeepSeek is making it look easy with this open source release of a frontier-grade large language model. He even mentioned that it was trained on a joke of a budget and that it looks to be a stronger model with way less compute. All right, so you might be skeptical since these results are published by DeepSeek themselves. But here's another leaderboard called Live Bench by Abacus AI. This is an independent evaluator. And note how DeepSeek is ranked all the way up here higher than Claude 3.5 Sonnet and GPT-40. It's only behind O1 and Gemini 2.0 thinking. And both of these are thinking models, so it's a different beast from DeepSeek version 3 and also Google's Gemini, which is just pretty damn amazing. So it's not just DeepSeek tooting their own horn. Others are recognizing how impressive this is. Honestly, it feels like DeepSeek V3 isn't getting as much hype as it deserves. They've managed to outperform state-of-the-art models while using way less compute compared to the big labs. And I think that's the biggest takeaway here. You don't necessarily need to just throw a ton of computing power at a model to make it smarter. With some clever engineering and design, there's still a lot of room for improvement, even without adding more compute. And like I said before, this model is completely open source. The model weights are already released on GitHub. So you can go ahead, download it, and tinker with it however you want. It's a fantastic resource for the AI community. Or, if you don't want to download the whole massive model, you can also try it out directly on their website. I'll link to the announcement page in the description so you can read more about it. And that's a wrap for today's deep dive into the world of mind-blowing AI. I'm curious, which one of these are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments. And as always, stay curious, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.